Welcome to Passionpreneur TV. Today I'm here with Frida Lombard from Zealous Art, and I just love everything about you, just FYI. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so first it's your accent. So you're originally from? South Africa. Amazing. And what brought you to beautiful Vancouver, BC? <laughs> My husband had a job offer. Um, it took us five minutes to decide, and uh, then we Googled. After we decided, yes, we're coming, then we Googled to see where Vancouver is in Canada <laughs> and said, oh, good decision, we're coming. It was just the right time and, yeah. Amazing. And when did you open Zealous Art? I've been doing the painting parties since 2011. My studio I opened up uh, November 2016. Cool. Yeah. So your studio is in Langley, BC, mm -hmm. and you can have workshops in there, painting parties. What yes. else takes place? Um, drop in painting, so you can come in Wednesdays to Saturdays. Uh, you step in and you pick a canvas size. Uh, you pick a theme from the wall. Sometimes people bring photos of their favorite places where they've gone kayaking or um, snowboarding, and um, we help them paint that painting. So we give them the paints, we give them the brushes. There's always an artist on site that helps you um, put your painting together. A lot of people come in and say it's so nice that you can walk in, paint, go home. People don't paint at home or do their crafts at home because it's the unpacking and packing back in. Here you just walk in, we have everything and we clean up after you. Perfect. <laughs> done and done. And so, and you do some theme nights and corporate events as well. So tell us a little bit about that. So theme nights, um, we do uh, Bob Ross kind of theme nights. So you even get the wig and uh, we do a landscape painting it's not a um, oil painting or it's just to bring out the inner artist bring out your inner Bob Ross because we all have happy little trees and everything in us and um, then I do the corporate events we do team buildings uh, client appreciation events um, anything that you can get people together to have fun and bring out their inner artist I love it perfect and so what made you want to do this as a career <laughs> My husband bought me an easel in 2010 and um, I started painting. I haven't seen the family since then. <laughs> You're like um, locked up, just can't get enough. Just started painting and I would paint and have friends over. We'll have coffee and we'll, I'll sit and paint and, and give them a brush and paint. And they'll say, but how do you do that? And then I'll show them. And eventually two or three friends would come, of, come over and we'll paint. Um, Friday nights we'll turn up the music, play some um, loud music, uh, drink some wine, and um, just paint. Eventually we choose a theme it's night, each night, and um, I would guide them, and that's how it started. No way. Yeah. I love the idea of groups of people coming together, painting, and pointing and laughing at each other, and going, wow, I didn't know I got this, or people just seeing so much about each other. Because you have people in the room, um, doctors, um, people that sweep the streets, someone that cuts the trees, someone that's an accountant, and you have them all in the room and they're painting and their personalities come out. Oh. So, um, I love how um, creatives, I'm gonna put myself in that category, launch into a business because we love doing it so much. And then it's like, oh, and then all the other things that come on with like <laughs> running a company, right? And you're like, don't yeah. love those things so much. And then you have to find the people that can help support you to just do the thing yes. that you love doing. And then hopefully they love doing that thing that they're supporting yeah. you with. So. When, you, when you get caught up in the bookkeeping and the, the legal stuff and all these kind of things. Yeah. Sometimes I felt I was too busy with the admin and all that. And when I want to paint, I'm so focused on all the other things that I, it, um, I've heard of writer's block. I've had painting block. Oh yeah. I've had days where I can't paint because I'm so worried about the book. So I'm so worried. Right. Hire someone to do that. So now I have a bookkeeper. I've had someone who did a lot of admin for me, especially over the Christmas season when it's crazy so that I can focus on the other things. So you got to get people to help you. Yes. Yeah. So anything else? I thought that was really good. You got even paint on your boots. I have paint on my boots. I have paint on everything. I went to the Business Excellence Awards, um, Langley Chamber Awards, yeah. and I was so proud of myself because none of my clothes had, nothing had paint on it until I left and someone pointed out that my handbag had paint on it. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well, You're like, it's, it's my acceptable. calling card. Yeah, yeah this is it's me. what I do. Yeah, here's a card. Yeah, I yeah. love it. Awesome. So if you're someone who's got creative genius somewhere locked deep in you and you really want to get it out with a brush, 
Frida has created the safe space for you to do that in, to explore, to create, and also get together with some friends and, and have a really nice time. Don't go bowling. Go painting. Who Yay. bowls anymore? I don't know. <laughs> and if you are an entrepreneur and you are absolutely passionate for what you do, I would love to hear from you. Otherwise, I encourage you to follow in your own heart's desire. And I'm Adara, and I dare you to pick up a brush. It's like the Chelsea Handler show where the dog's just loud on set. That's just what it's Lovely. like. So if you're hearing any <laughs> pause, that's, that's her.